Hey guys, what's up? So today is Tuesday. I leave tomorrow for Texas at 6.30 a.m. I have nothing packed. I don't know what to pack. Like, I don't know what to wear in 70 degree weather. I don't have a suitcase. Like, my life is just kind of in shambles right now. Like, I just don't have anything ready and I don't know what to do. Like, I'm trying to pack, like, but what does a baby wear in 70 degree weather? And we're all the adventure begins. Texas, here we go! Hey guys, so yesterday things were kind of busy. We got finally where we were staying and I was just so tired. I didn't know there was a time difference so the girl was tired and we just kind of cooled it last night and we slept in pretty late today. Today's just kind of a rest day before I head to Austin tomorrow. Uh, so since being in Texas, I'm already seeing things that like are kind of aligning with the future that I envision for myself and I'm just so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to be here. Like I just, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get here or get to the future that I'm envisioning, but I don't know. I want to figure it out but right now we're just kind of having a cool day we're going to go to the store and get some like stuff that we couldn't bring in our suitcases or stuff like that so yeah guys guess stay tuned for the journey and say so Grayson did such a good job yesterday you did say so I didn't cry at all yesterday the whole flight I didn't cry he didn't cry the whole flight. See, I was such a good baby. I made friends. I had fun. And say so I went straight to sleep last night. And I've been a good baby today. She literally has been just so well behaved. It's absolutely insane. Like, I can't believe how well she did on the flight yesterday. I think you know you might have a problem when the first place you go when you're in Texas is Target. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what this Target looks like and I feel like an extreme mom. Like, this is insane. Are you excited, G? We're going to Target. We're going to Target. You don't care at all. 30 seconds into Target and we're already in the baby section. And their clothes are so cute. Oh, Grayson, we can't fall backwards. I'm literally dying. <laughs> to Austin today guys I am so excited like I'm going to a law of attraction workshop and I could not be more excited and Austin is like top of my list of where I want to move so I'm really excited to like explore and get to know the area a little bit better and kind of really just see like what kind of vibe it gives me but honestly I am so like just still in shock like utter shock that I am like even in Texas still and it is so nice out today and I don't know I'm just really like so grateful and thankful that everything is working out the way that it is because it's just oh it's just proof that literally everything happens for a reason and like you should never actually like fret and like have any distrust in the universe or God because everything always works out like you know I thought something that happened last week that I would be like devastated and sad and stuff but like this week I am literally living my best life. Like I'm living, I'm honestly just living my best life. And if things were going the way that they were going, I probably would not be in Texas right now. So I'm just grateful. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that you guys are here with me and that we can experience this together. Like, ah, I'm so thankful. I'm at this mall called The Domain and it's pretty cool. It's an outlet mall which is kind of disappointing because it's super humid outside. But yeah, I'm about to go into Forever 21 and just see if I can find anything. 
like simple or small. I really need some, what's it called, like tank tops and leggings because completely out. I didn't bring any like cozy clothes. I definitely need some cozy clothes. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> so I just got back to the place that I'm staying and I literally feel so sick I really wanted um, to take you guys to this super target that I saw because who doesn't want to go to a super target but when I tell you like I got in the car and my stomach literally feels like there's something inside of it ripping it ripping ripping it to shreds like I honestly feel so sick and I don't know what to do like it's not even sick I'm just in a lot of pain I'm like my stomach just is hurting so bad so I just came back to where I'm staying and I just took a shower hoping that would make me feel better but it's not and so I think that I'm just going to like lay here and watch some Netflix and get some rest before my workshop tomorrow and hoping praying that I'm going to feel better this is like bittersweet because before I went vegan, I knew that like there was something in my diet that was making me super sick, but I was like unsure of what it was. And now I definitely know it's dairy because this is exactly how I used to feel like every day, which like prompted me not to eat. But now like I know, like I cannot eat dairy. Like even if I want to do 95% vegan, the reason why I wanted to do 95% vegan was for the dairy, but I know that I can't like I'm in so much pain like it is not worth it at all so very disappointed very sad very much in pain but I will see you guys in the morning I'm super excited for tomorrow it's going to be so much fun I'm looking forward to learning um, I might get lunch with some friends in San Antonio tomorrow so we'll see it should be fun I'm so excited I just like I said I still can't believe I'm in Texas so yeah, good night guys. What is up guys? So last night I got back to Houston and I pretty much just watched Stranger Things. I really, really, really enjoyed Austin. Like, sorry, I can't hold this camera straight right now, but I really enjoyed Austin. I had a really great time there. I would love to move there. Like that's definitely top of my list even more than it was before. And I don't know, it was just a really great vibes. It was like if I, were to be made into a city i would be made into austin like everything was just so carefree people were so young and like just so friendly and i mean they had vegan like food trucks and stuff that's where i went and ate yesterday it was a vegan food truck and it was so good and i mean i don't know there was like i felt like there was just like a no judgment zone and it was just i don't know i just really really loved it and i just the whole vibe of the city was great and I don't know the whole vibe of texas so far has been great things that i like obviously are the vibes i like the bigger homes and the prices for the bigger homes 
I enjoy just the different things to do, um, things I don't enjoy. Um, I like I like that there are so many subdivisions and like suburb areas, but at the same time I don't like I don't know. I like it's weird. I guess I haven't really seen like actually living in the city, but I I don't know. Yeah, I enjoy that, but then I don't enjoy that. So that's kind of weird. But overall, like I really am enjoying Texas. Very much so. So stay tuned for next week so you guys can keep up and see all the other adventures that I do in Texas to see if I stay in Texas, you know, just keep up because who knows with me. You never know what's going to happen next. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. <laughs>